Good day, Merry Meet. My name is Glennis and I am the Witch of Whitetail Hollow. I want to warmly welcome you to my channel. I want to thank you guys so much for joining me. First, most important thing, I want to send you the warmest Yule blessings. I hope that you have had a safe, happy, and healthy Yule and you continue to do so. I have been in serious celebration mode. It is not only Yule, but a celebration of family, friends, magic, and the fact that the sun is slowly but surely making its way back. So celebrate, kick your heels up and have a good time and celebrate with me because I certainly am. But one of the things that I wanted to share with you today is a recipe and I will try very hard not to get sidetracked on this because it's this this time of the year I think of my roots family friends and I think of my hoodoo roots and Saint Expedite fits right in to that scenario for me and for a lot of the people in the old hoodoo community that I have been a proud, proud member of embrace Saint Expedite and a lot of archangels because not only to me, hoodoo is a blend of my heritage, my European heritage that goes way, way back New Orleans way way back I think before a really really long time ago like the 15 1600s and then on to my Native American heritage which of course <laughs> predates that and also to honor our African heritage and so I think of hoodoo as a blend of all of those things, but for me, I have received a little bit of inspiration from one of my subscribers, and I wanted, and I, and I look, looked at their recipe, and I said, well, that's, you know, lovely, but I have my own, and I wanted to share it with you, but first I wanted to say this year, it's still 2020. Uh, I am going to be offering my Saint Expedite service. I offer them once a month anyway, but this year I'm going to offer a special service New Year's Eve. I only open it up to 10 individuals. There are a few spots left, not many, but a few spots left, and I will be having a New Year's Eve Saint Expedite ritual that will carry on into the new year to if you need extra money coming into the new year or if you're looking for drastic quick very very quick changes then this is the novena ritual for you but what i do is before i start into my novena novena ritual i have and it's somewhat similar to my Marie Laveau water that I shared with you guys several months ago. Uh, this is a Saint Expedite, and the, you could call it an attraction spray, but to me, and there are properties that do attract money, opportunities, and removes obstacles and things like that, but to me, this is just a way of honoring Saint Expedite and giving thanks for him and the inspiration that he's given to so much, so many, so much. But I just spray a little bit into my hands. I might spray a little bit on my my doors, uh, my thresholds on my doors, things like that. Because again, it is a money attractant. But I will spray some of it there and purify my area and give thanks to him again, for the inspiration that he gives to me. Now, as far as the carrier oil, I know a lot of us are doing ritual for St. Expedite 
to increase money or to pay off a, maybe a very large bill that some of you may have accrued. So whatever carrier oil you can afford is really just fine because this is to anoint a candle and maybe the plate once the money comes because it will come or maybe if you're looking for a new job a new opportunity you know whatever whatever it is that you're looking for in a hurry you can anoint the plate that wants the money or the whatever it is that you're asking for you can anoint the plate that carries the pound cake the coins you certainly can anoint the coins and the flowers of course but what I put in mine, and again with my water as well, is rose. I use rose oil. You can use dried rose petals in here if you like. But I know a few of you have said, oh my goodness, rose oil is so incredibly expensive. And yes, it can be. If you are getting the true blue rose oil that is you know, very, very good quality. It can be cost prohibitive. But, but, if you will drop me a comment below and let me know whether you are interested or not for me to make a video for you to make your own rose oil. It really doesn't take a great deal of time. It takes a little bit of effort and roses, of course. But if you're interested in that, let me know and I will take you through the process. But a little bit of rose oil. And for me, of course, this is not for necessarily for love work. How I'm using this in this particular recipe, I'm using rose oil for the vibrations. And so it will amp up everything else that I'm putting in here. And also I wanted to mention too, I'm going to get sidetracked. I, I apologize. If you want to use, if you have just the herbs, you don't necessarily have the oils, you can make yourself a mojo bag and put the herbs and carry the herbs with you that will attract. And this is really, this is about attracting money. I, I'm not going to make any bones about that, but so if you have the oil, that's great. If you have the herb, that's great. But rose oil, and again, very high vibrations with rose oil. And I have a little bit of carnation oil. Now, I did buy this at my local metaphysical store. Um, you probably could make carnation oil, but for the price that this was, I decided to splurge on carnation oil. And if you are going into ritual as far as carnations are concerned if you are doing like a healing ritual for yourself for someone else it is in my world hoodoo world uh it is very customary to use red carnations in a healing ritual so you may want to think about you know the next time you see some red carnations somewhere or grow some of your own but um, they are very good on healing rituals. And of course, I have cinnamon here and cinnamon oil. We all know cinnamon attracts money and it raises like roses. It raises the vibrations. And I have chamomile here. I have both the herb and the oil. And so I'm, I think I'm going to make my own self a mojo bag. And... Um, Chamomile is all about, of course, it is very calming, used in other ways, but in this particular instance, I'm attracting money. Plain and simple. Money, money, money. And alkanet root. Now, remember, when you add this, and this sits for however long you deem it so, it will go, give off a red or pink tinge a little bit, and it will stain so be very, very careful with your Alkanet root. Alkanet, and I introduced this to you guys on Herb Week, and I will drop that link below, but Alkanet root is very good if 
uh, you play the lottery, if you go to the casino or whatever, but it draws money to you and good luck to you. But the one thing that, and I think I've, I've covered everything here that I put in my St. Expedite oil, but the one thing that really takes me back to my roots and my hoodoo roots is I have added chicory. And you may say chicory, okay, but chicory either carried in a mojo bag or added here not only attracts money, but especially if you carry chicory in a mojo bag, it will help to curb your spending. It will help you become a little bit more frugal and maybe think twice before, you know, you impulsively buy something or maybe spend a little bit more than you feel comfortable spending. So chicory, chicory, chicory. But yes, just, you know, add it to your novena candle and once the money or whatever comes your way anoint the plate anoint the flowers and thank thank saint expedite so much for everything he's done because he goes way way back and um and truly truly inspires me and the rest of the community i hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the day and don't forget drop me a comment below if you want me to make rose oil if you know you're not even remotely interested then that's okay too but i hope you give me a thumbs up and uh, share this and i hope you subscribe and join me when i upload i will be sharing depend depending on the rose oil i will be sharing another ritual oil recipe with you to help you control your life a little bit more. Have a wonderful day. Stay safe, happy, and healthy. Merry part, and I hope to merry meet again. Goodbye, guys.